Hey, what's up, guys? I'm on Notes here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create lightning in Adobe After Effects. Here's an example of the effect that we're going to be creating. So you can see we have two lightning bolts that shoot across the screen and make kind of a light explosion. I'm not going to be going over the light explosion right here because it's made with a lens flare and that's not related to lightning, but I will be showing you what settings to use for a lightning bolt how to make it and how to animate it so it shoots onto the screen and it's definitely a cool effect for your intros if you're getting sick of using optical flares and digi effects and action essentials too and all that stuff it's kind of something new let's get started so I'm gonna right click new solid and this is gonna be a layer for lightning so you can just keep this how it is and if you want to put this in front of your intro what you have to do is you have to right click blending mode and screen and that way it won't show the black background so we're gonna go to effect generate advanced lightning now for the lightning type we're gonna wanna make it strike and then you can see it just controls the lightning bolt with two points the direction and the origin now we're gonna go to the core settings and these settings are up to you whatever you think looks best but I personally like putting the core radius down to about 0.5 and just keeping the core opacity at 75%. But you can just experiment and see what settings look best for you. Now for the glow settings, the glow radius I like keeping it around 50 and the glow opacity I like increasing that to something between 70 and 100%. Now the glow, oops, now the glow color I would recommend using a color that matches the color of your intro, but I don't really have an intro right now that I'm using this for, so I'm just going to use a cool green-yellow color. And yeah, there we go. Now, first of all, we want to animate this lightning bolt so it doesn't stay still, so it actually looks like it's electric. So the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to keyframe the conductivity state. So we can have it start at zero and click the keyframe button and then go to the end of the timeline and just keyframe the value to 50 and now you can see if we drag through the animation the lightning bolt actually moves and it doesn't just stay there now to animate this lightning bolt to shoot into the screen we're gonna use we're gonna do this by animating the origin and the direction of the lightning bolt so if we want it to start not visible in the screen, we're just going to take these two points and drag them out of the screen. And this is where the lightning bolt's going to start. So we're just going to click the keyframe button for these two values. Now, depending on how long you want the lightning bolt to be, just go to the time. I'm going to make it one second later. And just choose one of these two points, either the origin or direction and just simply drag it to where you want it to finish. For me, I'm going to have it finish in the center of the screen. And now you can see if we drag through, it automatically keyframes and makes that animation how the lightning bolt's going to shoot into the screen. And I'm actually going to make the glow radius a little bit less and same with the glow opacity. I think that looks a little bit better. So yeah, that's actually pretty much a tutorial on how to make a lightning bolt that shoots into the screen and then electrocutes or whatever it's doing. Thanks for watching guys. Please like the video and comment if you want to request a tutorial and I'll try to make that happen. Thanks for watching guys.